We came out and we were the aggressors. I mean, we knew that um, Penn State is a guard-oriented team. They shoot the three extremely well, have some exceptional three-point shooters, and we just wanted to force them to do something differently. And I think my kids came out, they paid attention to uh, the personnel, and uh, we dictated on defense. And I think we, we, we threw them off rhythm a little bit, and, um, and I was pleased with our defense. But down the stretch, we didn't stay as distant, put them on the free throw line, you know, a little early, but. Overall, I was pleased that we kept a team like Penn State to shooting 30% from the three-point line all year. We've been playing tough competition, and I just wanted my kids to understand that, you know, at the next level, you know, it's the hustle plays has come down to the little things. And I just think Penn State's a great team, um, and I do have a great team. The record, like I told my kids, the record doesn't indicate what we're made of and what we're capable of. So right now I'm trying to continue to build a winning culture around here and just get my kids, you know, keep their heads up and just let them know that we're right there. We're not far off. We're right there. We just got to continue to raise the bar and push and find a way to finish games. Anytime you miss uh, almost nine free throws down the stretch, you're shooting 58 percent from the free throw line, came down tonight to free throws and rebounding, and we just got to work much harder in those categories. Right now, I've been you know, demanding more from my guards. I mean, I post Charisma Penn, Charisma, I mean, uh, Kirsten Magrum, uh, Alexis Burke, and Lana Rukavina have been doing a great job in the post. I just challenged my guards. I said I needed some more offensive punch from my guard, and I think Amber played extremely well. She shot the ball with a lot of confidence. Adrian Gabo was slashed to the basket. She was rebounding, she was attacking, and um, I need that, you know, from her. So uh, going forward, it's encouraging to know that now I got, you know, my, my perimeter player are starting to step up and leading for once. I think this is probably the first time that my perimeter were leading and scoring. So that's encouraging. Down the stretch, I just got to continue to put, you know, hopefully one day we'll have all five clicking on all cylinders. You know, where Charisma's having a good game, Kirsten's having a good game, Amber's having a good game, Nunu, and uh, Ivory Crawford and Lydia McCauley. So uh, instead of just having two or three in double figures, hopefully, you know, my, my goal is to get at least five or six in double figures. On the future is just continue to push my kids, to demand them, put them in situations where the last three minutes where we've got to finish. we got to finish, we have to finish. And it comes down to focusing. Like I said, again, you can't miss nine free throws down the stretch. You know, that's that's mental focus. And i got to continue to put them in situations, you know, free throws, put them in front of one-on-ones, put them down. You know, you're going, we're down one, you got to hit two. Um, and I'm just holding them accountable in that category. And then rebounding. That's effort, effort, effort. And just every day we, we, bring, we rebound. But going forward, I just got to put them in worse situa I mean, more situations where we got to make sure we get stops and we get rebounds. We don't give teams an opportunity to score three or four times, three chances at the basket. You know, the Samaritan's feet, uh, a lot of kids over in South America and the Caribbeans and, you know, other other places and, and over the U.S. in the U.S. just are walking around with no shoes. And I have a shoe fetish, so when I heard about the, the idea that you can donate money or donate shoes or just coach barefoot just to make people wear, I, ju you know, I jumped at the opportunity to do so. So I'm a giving person. I give and I donate, but they dare me to coach barefoot so I just joined along with other probably a thousand other coaches and decided that's what I wanted to do just make people aware that there are other people out there that's less fortunate than we are and hopefully we can just you know try to just put a smile on a little kid's face by giving them some shoes.